Hey everybody, you know who Molotov Mitchell is, the host of the original For the Record video, appearing weekly on WND.com, the former WorldNet Daily. Recently, UNC Chapel Hill made national headlines. I say original because somebody else is now using the same title, but we won't name Glenn Beck. Molotov, in the last month or so you said that registering as a Republican was a coming-of-age experience for you. Did you have this North Carolina Senate candidacy in mind when you registered? I became a Republican because I was moved by what uh, the Republicans in North Carolina were doing. Uh, they've done such a fantastic job at taking North Carolina back from the brink. Uh, they've taken us from being ranked 47 in the nation as far as having a toxic tax environment to having a position of 17. Uh, they've slashed unemployment almost in half, and uh, they've expanded freedom in so many ways. You can now conceal carry in, in more places. Uh, they've uh, opened the vouchers program, and I was really moved by how much progress they achieved in so little time. At the same time, being a Ron Paul uh, follower, I was very moved uh, by his constitutional eloquence, and uh, he is a Republican. And, and so the combination of those two things led me to finally put that R next to my name, and it's one of the best decisions I've ever made. What do you hope to accomplish in your state legislature? When I'm elected senator, I'm going to be fighting for three things. I'm going to be fighting for people's privacy, I'm going to be fighting to expand economic freedom, and I'm going to be fighting to contain Obamacare. So what that means more specifically is that I will fight to remove the NSA's uh, new facilities that they've set up in Raleigh. I will simplify and lower taxes, and I will do everything that I can at the local level to fight the train wreck of Obamacare. I will, I will do everything that I can to contain it and keep it from being expanded like my opponent has said he would love to do. He specifically said he'd like to do it through Medicaid. When I'm elected, that won't happen. In North Carolina, as in many states, the job of a legislator is not a year-long occupation. Will you continue with your gig on WND every Wednesday? God willing, I certainly will. If we look back at Shakespeare, say King Lear, we find that the jester is probably the wisest person in a king's court. He can get away with saying things no one else can. In a way, you fulfill a similar role with For the Record. I'd like to add, though, that you are a member of Mensa, the Organization for Geniuses. Do you have any concern about the transition from satirist to politician? Well, there has been uh, quite a bit of change already. As soon as I filed for my candidacy within hours, hours, that bastion of journalistic integrity, the News and Observer, had released an article smearing me as being anti-gay and calling for the killing of members of the LGBT community, among other smears. None of which were true, by the way. Uh, just for the record, I'm not anti-gay. Uh, and from a policy perspective, I really could care less uh, what consenting adults do in their bedroom. That's not my concern. My concern is meeting the needs of the people of District 16 in Raleigh and Cary and expanding their freedom. So I'm already experiencing some of the, the rougher patches of, of going from uh, being kind of a uh, shoot from the hip satirist whose job is to kind of be provocative and uh, kind of poke the bear, if you will. Um, to being more refined and more focused on the issues in my district. But at the same time, I'm still the same straight shooter, and I'm still going to tell you exactly what I think about an issue. So in many ways, nothing has changed at all. Thanks for talking with us, Molotov. This is Steve Eastman for Wait Till You Hear This. Discover more stories like this one on our website, waittillyouhearthis.com.